All right, so of course we have Joseph over here who we talked to earlier. It's the man. Yeah, tell everybody who you are. I'm Matt Smith. Uh, I'm currently the world record holder for the traditional grip record. Not Matt's grip, traditional grip uh, with 1132. And my record still stands for the last three years. So. Are you going to compete tomorrow? Finals? You? Me? Oh no, 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 no! I'm not allowed to compete. No, if if you already won, I won when I was 16, and if you already win, the rule is you're not allowed to compete again. So oh man! This, this is to keep the competition going. Yeah. So I noticed that uh, you two had a little friendly competition going on earlier today. Tell me if what that's, that's what you about. Want to call it. it was pretty even. I think we're pretty even. Yeah, it's pretty even. I, I'm a little rusty. I just wanted to go uh, old times, kind of the old feelings crept up in me again, and I felt like going back up on the thermometer. So. I'll, I'll probably keep going again today. I'll give you. I'll give Matt a week. He'll, he'll, he's gonna. Uh, he's the one giving me a run for my money. So. <laughs> um, tell me like a little bit about your background. Like you know when you first uh, got in touch with WFD and started getting involved and everything like that. Well, I met Boo. Man, I met Boo probably when I was like 15 years old, like six years ago at the Anaheim Nam, and uh, basically like the speed, the whole speed drumming thing uh, invol involving the thermometer was kind of like a little like a little summer project for me to do, you know, I, just, I got out of school and, you know, I was just like looking for something to do over the summer and uh, I got a thermometer, I just wanted to see what it was all about and I started working with it and within like the first week I was averaging maybe somewhere almost around a thousand, so wow. I, wanted to, I wanted to keep, uh, I, I kind of thought that was like a really serious score and I thought maybe the thermometer is broken, like I don't think I should be doing the score. But I went up to the NAM in Anaheim, uh, I lost, which maybe was a good lesson for me because I came back again setting records with even higher scores like in, in the 1100s. So, uh, and then from there it's history. And then when I was 18, I, I set the record. Cool, cool. Um, who do you think is like the best like with speed and everything on the hands? I think overall, overall like, Within the whole history of WFD, I would still say Mike Mangini is because Mike Mangini is in a different league, yeah. especially with Matt's grip, you know. But uh, I don't know. I would say guys like Art Verdi. Uh, There's Ricardo Bellini. Ricardo, that's he, right. He, he couldn't come in. Mangini's see. student. He, yeah, he's Mangini's student. Is he here? Is he here? No, no. Okay. He, he didn't make it. He couldn't make it, unfortunately. Okay. But he, he's up in that high 11, 8. Yeah. Stop, Ryan. I, I know he's happy. He's happy. He could. But, uh, so, yeah, guys like Art Birdie, Mangini. Can you hear me? Not myself. I don't want to say that. Um, so, Joseph, how do you feel about, um, like, the difference between your technique and his? Like, what, what do you think? You They're know? both very unique techniques. Um, I guess it is true when you say everyone's different. We all have different hands, different styles. Right. And I said to the guys out there, um, don't try to play like Mangini. Don't try to play like Matt. Just go with your own technique, and I think that's what's working for everyone. Mm -hmm. um, all these champs, you know, the guys that are, have gone and that are coming through, uh, they all have their own natural technique. Yeah, whatever is most comfortable for you. Yeah, so both our techniques, I think they're great. And mats especially, it's very unique. It's very difficult uh, for someone to try to master. Uh, yes, yeah, so stick with your own technique. Uh, work at it. Work at it really hard, and you should be fine. Alright, so since both of you kind of have your name as like a spectacle in the WFD, like would you consider maybe doing some teaching or something like that, mentoring other other people with our techniques? You ever thought about that? I mean, I've, I've shared a few, you know, tips and tricks, things like that with guys, you know, they're warming up and wanting to have, have a game. Matt's certainly helped me out over the last 12 months, you know, emailing each other and just, what did you do, how did you go by doing that? Cool. What were your routines? And not just Matt, um, other guys as well have helped me out. And I'm, I'm trying to do the same, just telling people how to, what not to do and what to try to do. Right. But yeah, I'd definitely like to teach um, this sort of side of drumming. Because it's not musical, but it's more on the sports endurance side of things. And that's one of the main topics. That, that that's an interesting point he just brought up. It's it's people like on the internet chat forums, all the chat forums. Basically, so, sometimes people will come in and they'll say, "Well, WFD. Well, I don't see the musical concept in it. I don't I don't hear any music going on." And and it's not. It has really nothing to do with music. It is basically it is a sport, like he said. And it, but it, it's something that helps train the young kids, uh, 
maybe who are in marching band or, or just with their rudiments, man, it's like the greatest and the most fun way to, to ever practice rudiments because you sit, if you sit in your room uh, with a practice pad, I mean, you're, it's, like, it's so addictive. You want to just keep trying to break your own score over and over and over. And by, by the kids having fun doing this, they don't even realize maybe their chops are getting like multiplied like, like 10 times better. Awesome. While doing this. Um, it's actually a very good visual tool. I'm using it for rating. Uh, I'm sure Matt, I'm not sure if you've done that before. You use it for rating. You know, you'd read what's on the page, you play on that tempo. Right, 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 right. And yeah, so it's a very good visual tool, educational tool too. So it's just not about speed. It's about uh, you can use it for education, figuring out technique, developing technique. All right. So um, I guess. One thing I'm curious about is, um, like, what would you say or how do you feel about the people that are sort of, like, anti-WFD? Of course, you know, everybody's got a hater. Hate to their right. Yeah. Haters gonna hate. <laughs> if they're gonna hate, let them hate. Um, they won't like it until they try it. And we've got proof of, you know, young guys and girls giving it a shot and just having fun and keep coming back. They go, you know, do a lap around the, around the, uh, around the show and then come back and give it another shot. Yeah, it's just fun. It's addictive. It's a lot of fun, and they won't know what it is until they sit down and try it. And usually, the people who who attack, usually the people who sit behind the keyboard and attack people like me and him who have speed, are usually people who can't play fast in the first place and who don't even try it. So, you know, <laughs> people who say people who bash on kids like us for for our speed are people who don't have speed. And if they've never seen us play, they shouldn't talk. Simple as that. No, it's just it's a lot of fun. Um, it's great if you can get down there. If you can't get to the name this year, get to the next one because this this thing up here is just a blast. It's so much fun, and you'll meet a lot of people. So do it. Do it. Do it.